Hello everybody, my name is Leafies, and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all having a great day, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, we are going to be continuing the long main Hermitcraft series of this channel, where we rank Hermitcraft members' various skins across Season 6 and 7, finding out which skin is the best, which one is the worst, and which ones are in the middle, and why. Today, Exuma Void. Add him to the Hermitcraft server, Master Mythbuster, snapshot reviewer, faceless god, and overall amazing creator boasting over 1.4 million subscribers on his main channel at the time of recording. Across season 6 and 7 of Hermitcraft, Exumavoid has had many different skins, and they all looked great. That being said, in today's video, we will be finding out which one is the best, because there can only be one. And just a quick disclaimer before the video starts, or two quick disclaimers before the video starts. Uh, one, none of these skins are bad, they're just worse than others according to our criteria. And two, a skin of Exuma's might not appear on this video. If so, it'll be for one of three reasons. One, the skin wasn't a part of Hermitcraft. Two, I didn't know where the skin was from or couldn't find footage. Or three, the skin wasn't out at the time of recording, which is on the 7th of May for those of you curious. Now back to the skins. If you are familiar with the series, you know how we grade skins, but for those of you who are new, and a refresher for those of you who may have forgotten, we use 4 criteria to grade skins out of a total of 30 possible points across all 4 criteria. The rubric for a great skin is as follows. Criteria number 1, Impact on the Plot. Out of 10, I will rank how much I think the skin contributed to the episode, and how memorable or enjoyable that scene was, as well as the overall impact of that scene. Criteria number 2, how detailed out of 10 again. I'll determine how many changes occurred between changing the skins, and how much work I think he put into the skin. Again, this is kind of opinion based on the work part. Criteria number 3, how creative it is. Out of 5 this time, I will try to judge how cool of an idea this was. Not only the skin though, but I'm going to be trying to judge how creative the whole event tied to the skin was, if applicable. An example of this is that Grin with Mumbo's mustache isn't very creative, it's not a very creative skin, but the whole mustache machine saga was super creative, so that skin would earn more points. And finally, criteria number four, I'll just be giving my opinion of the skin. Out of five, just how much I like it. It is out of five, so because my opinion isn't worth as much as some other things, but I think it's important to consider how much I like the skin. Of course, this is just me. Without further ado though, let's get right into the video. Now that we have all that out of the way, my last note before we begin is just a quick PSA, uh, alerting you guys that only 8% of you guys who watch these videos are actually subscribed, which isn't that much. So if you do find yourself not being subscribed and you do find yourself enjoying this video, please subscribe. It's free, it means the world to me, and you can always unsubscribe later if you change your mind. Oh, and do leave a comment letting me know what your favorite Exuma skin is. Exuma is a great creator and he has many great skins, but your favorite might be different than my favorite, obviously. I'm really interested to know your opinions and would appreciate if you told me what your favorite skin is in the comments below. That being said, let's begin. Today, I have gathered not 10, not 9, but 11 of Exuma Void skins, all hoping to be crowned the number one skin of Hermitcraft Season 6 or 7. But as we all know, there can only be one winner. Let's get into it. Coming in at number 11 on our list with an average score of 15.5 out of 30 is Totem X. Totem X was a skin that Exuma downloaded off the internet in hopes to advertise his new Totem of Undying shop in Hermitcraft Season 6. The marketing campaign involved Exuma Void diving headfirst into the ground while wearing the skin and holding a Totem of Undying. After demonstrating the power of his item, he would give others their own totem, telling them to shop at the store. Was it successful? I don't know, but one thing's for sure, the skin wasn't that great compared to the other ones. Because it was featured in an episode, Totem X gets a 5 in plot and a 3.5 in creativity, because the marketing campaign was pretty creative. I mean, who expects a Totem X dive bombing from the sky greeting you with merchandise? It's certainly not as false. <laughs> that's, that's the idea. I'm sorry, fools. The skin gets a 5 in detail, because while Exuma did download it, the skin itself is pretty well made and looks decent. That being said, I don't particularly like it that much, so I gave it only a 2 in opinion. Moving on to number 10 now. Ah, Demise. The server-wide event of Hermitcraft Season 6. With every single Hermit doing their best to stay alive for as long as possible. When they died, Hermits would change their skin to a more grayish version. Or in some cases, give birth to marvelous skins. Or even a story. Such as Buff Scar and Rendog. Or Grimdog. However, while those two skins are super impressive, 
X's Demise skin is a bit lacking in comparison. The skin is a regular Exumavoid, but grayer and with a murky lime visor. The skin gets a 9 in plot because of the relevance and importance of Demise, and a 5 in detail because putting the work into grayscaling the skin, as well as adding a specifically colored visor, was pretty clever and detailed and respectable as well. However, the skin isn't very creative, only earning a 2. And I don't dislike it, but I don't think there is much to like about it, so it only gets a 2 in opinion, coming in with a total score of 18. Decent, but not good enough. The holder of the number 9 spot is none other than Frozen X, Yeti Suma, or whatever you want to call him. Because of the coldness of the winter months, X had been frozen into the snowy form. It reminds me of a Yeti, and I really like the nice blue ice visor. Because it's a quote, holiday skin, it gets a 4 in plot and a 3.5 in creativity. These will be consistent grading skills for all the holiday skins, unless there's more to it. Freezing yourself for the winter month is pretty creative when compared to, let's say, Grian, who just put on this adorable, cozy, <coughs> non-creative scarf-sweater combo. Yeti Suma is really well made and I do quite like it, earning an 8 in detail and a solid 3.5 in opinion. Not too bad, but certainly not good enough. Top 8. Number 8 goes to yet another holiday skin, but this time, it's more festive. Elf X, or Elf Suma, was X's Season 6 Hermitcraft Christmas skin. The skin has a very 2015 color style and palette, but it is very well made, earning a 9 in detail because of its small features and details. While this, holiday, while this is a holiday skin, the episode was Christmas themed, so instead of a 4, this skin gets a 5.5. The creativity didn't go super far though, and because the skin is pretty generic, just very detailed, it earns a 2 in that regard. That being said, I think the skin is decent, but nothing special, so I gave it a 3 out of 5. It, I think it's fair, in opinion. Moving on to the next skin on our list. Number 7 belongs to a very busy man, and a mascot of Season 7. Yes, you heard that right. Number 7 is B Suma. Now I know the skin is very loved, and it is a shame that it didn't make it higher on our list. The reasoning for this decision is as follows. If you haven't yet watched Season 7, why? You wouldn't know that Exuma's new skin reflects the implementation of 1.15's bees and the addition of said version to the Hermitcraft server. Because the skin is such a core part of the season, it gets an 8.5 in the plot category. Pretty solid. Additionally, the skin is very well made and looks really good apart from a minor detail that I will talk about later. That being said, its coloring and overall style earns a 7 out of 10 in detail. While the skin is a very cool addition to the server and story, it isn't extremely creative, and earns an average 2.5 out of 5 in that department. Now, personally, I think the skin is really great apart from one thing, the nose or straw of the bee. Now, I don't know what it is, I don't know what it is about it either, but it doesn't look like it fits in, or that it should overlap outside the head area, but that's just my personal opinion. Either way, 2 out of 5 for that category opinion. Moving onwards now, to the top 6. Coming in at number 6 on our list is yet another mascot, but this time of the past season, Turtle X of Season 6. With the addition of 1.13, the update aquatic to the Hermitcraft server, Turtle X was a way of celebration. As you can see, Exuma literally turned his skin into a turtle. Just like the previous, I think the skin earns an 8.5 for plot and a 7 for detail because it is really well made and I quite like it. Once again, like the previous, the skin earns an average creativity score. Another 2.5 will be given. However, what sets this skin 0.5 ahead of Bizuma with 20.5 points is my 2.5 instead of 2 in opinion. I like the skin a bit more because there's no weird feature that I just don't like as much, and in the end, this was a decisive factor. Now, onto the major, the top 5 Exumavoid skins. Quickly, before I continue, I'd just like to ask that if you are enjoying the video up to this point, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe. But that said, the holder of the number 5 spot is the one, the only, Pumpkin X? Probably one of the more obscure Exumavoid skins, Pumpkin X was Asuma's Halloween skin for Hermitcraft Season 6. This really cool skin looks really, really good, and I really like it. Really. Earning a 4 out of 5 in detail, the skin is yet another holiday skin, so it only earns a 4 and a 5.5 in plot and a 4 in creativity. X didn't do much special with the skin because he was a pumpkin, just because it was Halloween in general. The pumpkin didn't really influence it. That being said, as I said before, the skin looks really good, earning a 9.5 in detail, the highest detail score out of any skin on this list. Something about it just really appeals to me. 
Great job on this one. It looks super really cool. Number four is another not very well known skin. This one with a score of 21.5 points out of a potential 30 is Default War Exumavoid. Default War X was part of the greatest events ever on Hermitcraft, the Prank War. The Prank War of Season 6 had the importance of Demise and even more. Diss tracks were made, memes were made, alliances were formed, but only one side was declared victorious in the end. Concorp. Concorp won. But enough about the lore. If you want to learn more about the Demise on Hermitcraft 6, go check out the video in the top right right now for the best stories of Hermitcraft Season 6. Back to the skins, however, because of its connection to the famous prank war, this skin gets a 10 out of 10 importance in plot. And additionally, the detail of this army skin is super good, and the army feel is on point, earning a solid 8 for detail. That being said, however, this skin was worn by all the members of Team Star, lowering its creativity down to a mere 1.5 out of 5. Additionally, something about X's head and visor don't really match with the buff rest of the skin, earning just the 2 points in opinion. All that considered, the skin is really really good and does really really well and places high on our list. Who would have thought, claiming two spots in a row are two war related skins. This time though, Army Turtle X. This one's a quickie, and the only reason it passes the previous is because of a small 0.5 more in detail because of the turtle head. Exuma actually went to war with two skins, and this just happened to be the one of them that did better. As I said previously, nothing else changed between the rating of these two skins, this one just happened to be a bit better in my opinion, and the vibe was on point. <laughs> what does that mean? Ah, the final two. The two best Exumavoid skins across seasons 6 and 7. And what do you know, one is from season 6, the other is from season 7. But the owner of the number 2 spot coming from season 7 is Belt B Suma, the button, the most intense and chaotic event to bring social hierarchy to Hermitcraft. It brought, brought by the mustachioed man himself. The button was a mini game where hermits would try to outwit each other. The longer you waited, the more the button's health would dwindle down, and the more health you saved the button at, hitting it and resetting the health, the higher your award and belt color would be. And as always, be sure to laugh at the purple belts. After getting a belt, most hermits would do something creative with it. Mumbo adding it to his overalls, Green making an infinity gauntlet, and Iskal adding it to his eye. However, Exuma stands out as one of, if not the most creative implementations of the belt, making himself a wandering traitor. Better watch out for Mumbo X, just make sure he doesn't see you. Whenever Exuma uploaded, upgraded his belt, which happened quite a bit, he would change the colors of his robe. These skins always turned out great and were fun to watch. I am not grading all of them here, but if I was to share my opinions, I would say the default blue one and the yellow ones are my favorite. The button is super relevant, earning these skins a 7.5 in plot. Likewise, they look really well made, and so they earned a 7.5 in detail as well. I think X put a good amount of effort into designing these and thinking up this idea, so not only does it earn its detail score, but it also earns a 4 in creativity. Really great job. As for opinion, I already mentioned that I am fond of these skins, and they are some of the favorite ones on this list, earning another very good 4 in opinion. I love it. I love these skins. But alas, there can only be one winner. Beltsuma came close, but not close enough. The holder of the number one spot for best Exuma Void skin from all the seasons, coming from season six, is Pufferfish Pranker X. This skin is great and tied to a very funny plot point of season six. Earlier in the season, Exuma had fulfilled the goal of pranking every hermit on the server with a pufferfish somewhere in their base. Hilarious and very creative. Not only was this prank very cool with the update Aquatic, but X went above and beyond, changing his skin to suit his endeavors. Definitely 5 out of 5 worthy in creativity. As for the skin itself, it looks great. I love the color choice for the suit, as well as a slight alteration of shades of yellow, gold, and grey. Plus, the pufferfish head is super cute and well made, earning a 9 for detail. So, so good. The puff this pufferfish saga stretched across several episodes, and overlapped with every hermit on the server, so if that isn't worthy out of 7 plot points, I don't know what it is. As for my opinion, I like the skin quite a bit, so I gave it a 3.5. 
The Puffer Fresh head is super, super nice, and you already know I love the color choice. Overall, this skin smashes the competition with 24.5 points out of a potential 30, rightfully earning the number one spot on this list. But who knows, after this video is released, maybe X will have a new skin, another one, that sweeps all these away. But I certainly don't know, and you do. But with all of that said, that wraps up today's video. I really do hope you did enjoy. These are really, really fun to record, and if you didn't make it to the end, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe if you are not so already. But thank you so much for watching. It has been me, Weefies, and peace out. Bye!